فايز اعمل لك معايا سندوتش جبنه سي ذس جاي هي از نو ريجولر باندا هي از ا ماسكوت and a damn good one thanks to him panda cheese is instantly recognizable let's look at another panda or this one what do they have in common apart from being pandas they're parts of a much bigger picture so let's talk mascots the objectives of any good brand are to engage with the customer cut through the clutter generate recall and explain a brand's offering And when it comes to engagement, who's done it better than Asian Paints, with the mischievous Guttu taking his place? A creation of the legendary R K Lakshman. It was 1947 when India had just come into its own. We made a trip with destiny, and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge. And its middle class was booming. Guttu positioned the brand for end users rather than businesses. The mischievous young boy with his paint bucket really enamored the market. But brands also need to fight for their voice to be heard, and with the right mascot, that fight gets a whole lot easier. Here's what electronics ads look like in the 80s. Technical specs, technical specs, technical specs. While some focus on consumer lifestyle, when the ears start to see, the eyes listen. and others focused on product details the videocom 21 bazooka 200 watts of pulsating power flat and full square picture tube laser disc compatible videocom bazooka onida used their mascot to do both allowing for a clear cut through the clutter The three centimeters FST multifunction on-screen display, 30-channel preset memory, two-way twin angular four-speaker system, electronic. When Onida performs, everybody goes speechless. Onida, neighbors envy, owners pride. Onida seemingly made a deal with the devil, but not all mascots take this route. Some generate recall for different reasons. Like this one, know who she is? Her childlike sass and willingness to comment on any topic has brought her to our hearts and our tables. Oh, by the way, that's. Utterly, utterly delicious. <laughs> Amen. And you didn't even need the logo to know that. I know what you're thinking. All of these are really cool, but how does one create a mascot that'll last? Easy. Just illustrate the benefits, like Bobby Cooker. Who's Bobby Kuka? Well, he was the commercial director of Air India in 1946. But more importantly, he was the one along with artist Umesh Rao that created the Air India Maharaja. A character that could be easily replicated on different mediums and be able to showcase the brand proposition. And what better way to show Indian hospitality than the already recognizable image of Indian royalty? Now all of these are mascots from years gone by. So have we seen a decline in the presence of the mascot? Well, that may be because they've taken on a new form. Like Chika, the pug that was happy to help back in 2003 when Hutch was Hutch. Or in 2007 when Hutch wasn't Hutch but was instead Vodafone. In 2009 they replaced Chika with Zuzus. human like 3d characters that were in fact actors in body suits lately we've seen mascots that look a lot more like you or me or like sasha chetri the girl who told us about airtel's incessant 4g coverage incessantly or like ramesh and suresh who have been friendship gold since 2006 So far, we've seen a butter-loving girl, a paint-loving boy, a tech-loving devil, and so much more. But now, the question is, where do we find the next big Indian mascot? What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. <laughs>